As the manhunt continues for dangerous fugitive Rodney Clavell, his son was today jailed over several unprovoked assaults. Daniel Clavell pleading guilty to the offences and blamed his father for his steroid use, saying it fuelled his violent crimes. His father is one of South Australia's most wanted men, managing to evade police for five days. But Daniel Clavell wasn't so lucky. Today jailed for more than three and a half years for a string of driving, drug and assault offences committed between August last year and January this year. In sentencing today, the 26-year-old's lawyer blamed his fugitive father for his steroid fueled crimes. My client had a fairly stable life until his father developed a drug problem. He hasn't been the best role model or support. The court heard Rodney introduced Daniel to steroids at 16 and encouraged his involvement in the Port Augusta prison riots when they were both inmates in 2008. The younger Clavel's more recent crimes involved four random violent attacks, including punching a 50-year-old man in a gym change room. He also punched a 67-year-old man walking along Jetty Road at Glenelg. You picked on perfect strangers and deprived them of their enjoyment of life or their feelings of safety, and then shocked them with unprovoked attacks. You took steroids for your own vanity. You knew they made you more aggressive. Clavel pleaded guilty to all nine charges, the magistrate branding him defiant and belligerent. Clavel repeatedly smiled and smirked during the entire hour-long hearing, even twice laughing when the magistrate relayed the injuries he inflicted on two of his innocent victims. His lawyer told the court Clavel would reform, saying he's recently become a Muslim and spends time reading the Quran, which has given him insight into his criminal behaviour. Live to Kim Robertson now. And Kim, are police any closer to closing in on Daniel's father? Well, Brenton, Rodney Clavel remains on the run after dodging police now for five days. The 46-year-old is being sought for breaching a firearms prohibition order and illegal use of motor vehicles, despite two schools being sent into lockdown and now dozens of raids across the Adelaide area, police have so far failed to uncover him. And uh, despite, uh, uh, and he is still on the run and police are uh, warning members of the public to remain vigilant, saying he could be armed and dangerous and in no way should he ever be approached. Back to you. Thank you for the update, Kim.